Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a love reading for March the 12th to the 13th, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Fire Energy, straight away. We have the Three of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, also an energy about waiting. So I'm seeing someone here is single and waiting. That is the energy that I am starting to pick up on. So Nine of Pentacles is about a single energy, but an energy that actually is very productive in many ways. It's not one that's sitting and wallowing in sadness or eating chips in bed. It's a energy that is very productive, working and nourishing on themselves, but also waiting at the same time, but definitely uh, working on themselves. So I'm seeing here a King of Wands, which is very, very positive. And again, Fire Energy. Waiting for a King of Wands, perhaps? Let's see. We've also got the Queen of Cups. Six of Swords. String card. Hmm. Patience is the virtue in this situation, um, mainly because we have the strength card, which is all about, um, in the, I'm being channeled to tell you to be patient, essentially, uh, Sagittarius. Again, fire energy with Leo, but specifically it is about being quite patient. Fire signs tend to want things quite quickly, and patience can often lead to, or time can lead to things being better for you in the long term and being quite a bit more stable than getting things just so suddenly and as suddenly as things can happen things can go as well so what I'm seeing is patience it's okay to wait and be patient um, and work on yourself in the meantime as I'm seeing that you most likely have been but again you're still waiting and it's all about exiting that waiting phase so the Six of Swords here is also about wait, um, exiting out of the waiting phase because it's going to cause you a lot of emotional chaos. You do not want to be in that situation where you're shrouded and hunched over and just in an emotional state of mind that is just doing you no justice whatsoever. You want to be in a situation like the Queen of Cups, someone who's in their power, someone who owns who they are, someone who nourishes themselves, work, nourishes themselves works on themselves and is extremely well manifested um, but still, you know, emotionally vulnerable, there's nothing wrong with that. But two completely different energies, so you want to be in this particular energy. You don't want to be waiting for someone because over time that can really, really hurt you, especially if that person doesn't want you in the same way that you want them. Um, so yeah, I am seeing that you're perhaps waiting for someone like the King of Wands to come your way, but what you really have to do is exit out of that waiting phase, is what I'm seeing, because that will really... You know, and especially wanting it quickly, you need to exit out of the phase of wanting things quickly and wanting them your way. The universe likes to surprise us, surprises us all the time. So it really is about sort of exiting out of that phase and just trusting yourself, working on yourself, and um, being nourishing and kind to yourself. So Sagittarius, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!